here we are with the 1991 26 skipjack flybridge starting off at the bow we see we have the extended bow pulpit and the windlass with the foot pedal right there coming down the starboard We see we have the enclosed bridge, lots of windows for the interior. Have a nice stainless steel radar arch with 12 different rocket launchers, lights, and outriggers right there. Checking at cockpit, we see we've got lots of room for four guys to fish. On the extended swim platform, we see our two scoop bait tank. Here we are getting another view, port side of the skip tack. You see she's got the classic lines. Here we are boarding the vessel. And again, there's that large the deck of the cockpit. We have engine access. The engine is not original and was replaced in 2008. Checking out the engine compartment, we see we've got three batteries and it looks like a brand new pump in there. Over here, we have access to more index storage and then along the port side, we have a custom storage unit added right there. Off to port, we see the custom teak tackle station. We enter the vessel through the sliding door. We have an extra large dinette which converts to a sleeper for two. And again, Notice the high degree of visibility here. Forward. We have a large sleeping area with gunnel storage alongside. Got a little locker there. At the galley, we've got drawer storage, stainless steel sink, and a refrigerator freezer right moving there. aft we see we have a new marine head in there with an electric flush shower wand and a stainless steel sink Up to the flybridge, we see we've got twin swivel bucket seats. We have an electrical panel right here showing all of our switches, conveniently located at the side of the helm. Forward, we have the stainless steel ship's wheel, Garmin GPS 441 a Lowrance Elite 7 with the Chirp technology and the Raytheon Radar SL70 model. Looking back we have another view of the cockpit. Just imagine it loaded with fish. <laughs> 